Brunoise is one to three millimeter cubes. Demonstrating it with a carrot today. Carrot's been peeled and washed. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut myself one flat edge on the carrot, so it sits flat on the chopping board. Cut a second edge, so that I have a square face to work from, and go through and cut slices that are one to three millimeters thick. Then take those slices into a manageable pile, again cutting them one to three millimetres thick, and then using the same dimensions, cutting them into nice, even squares. Chiffonade is defined as thinly sliced vegetable. The vegetable that I'm using is a cabbage. I've taken the dark outer leaves off the cabbage and I've cut the core out of the centre. What I'm going to do is break off leaves so it's in small manageable pieces and then I'm going to run through with my knife and cut fine slices. So trying to get these as fine as possible. Jardinera battens are vegetables that are two and a half centimetres long, three millimetres wide and three millimetres thick. I'm demonstrating today using a carrot. This carrot's cut to five centimetres, so I'm going to be cutting it half at the end to get the right length. First thing I'm going to do is cut one square face on the carrot so that I have a flat edge to work off. Lay the carrot flat, cut a second square face on the vegetable and then slice down three millimetres apart. Then take the carrot in small manageable piles and again cutting at three millimetre lengths. And then finally to get these lengths to two and a half centimetres, remembering I started with a five centimetre carrot, I'm cutting them in half. Julienne is defined as four centimetre lengths cut as finely and thin as possible. Demonstrating today using a capsicum. I've taken the capsicum, pre-cut it into a four centimetre wide strip, taken some of the inside flesh out of it so as thin as possible. And then going to go through and cut strips as fine as possible. Macedoin is half centimetre cubes or five millimetre cubes of vegetables. Demonstrating using an onion today. <clears throat> Peeled the onion, taken the skin off, and I've just removed the inside core from the end. What I'm going to do is cut lines down the top, half a centimetre apart. A slice parallel to that to facilitate cutting. and then going through half a centimetre again, eventually all the way to the end of the onion. Battens are defined as sticks of vegetable that are five centimetres in length, half a centimetre thick, and half a centimetre wide. Demonstrating today using a cucumber that's already been cut to a five centimetre length. First thing I'm going to do is cut a flat face on one side of the cucumber so that I can lie it flat to work on. Cut a second face, and then go through and cut lengths that are half a centimetre thick. And then take those lengths into small manageable piles and cut them again at half centimetre intervals. Paisan is defined as small shapes of vegetables that are cut one to two millimetres thick. Demonstrating today using three vegetables, I have a celery that I've peeled cut into an even length, a carrot, I've cut it from the end so it has the same circumference all around the side, and a leek. Starting with my celery, what I'm going to do is cut small shapes approximately one to two millimetres thick. Repeat the process with my carrot, again cutting one to two millimetres thick. And then finally the leek, squaring it off so I have even sized pieces and again leeks already one to two millimeters thick so just cutting into small shapes in this case squares.
This cut of vegetable is mirepoix or matignon, demonstrating today using a celery, onion and carrot. What I'm going to do is roughly chop these. Even though they're roughly chopped, because the vegetables are going to be cooked, we want to keep the size relative to each other. So starting with the celery, chopping into squares that are all a similar size, the onion, again chopping into squares that are similar in size, and finally the carrot, chop the carrot in half, through the centre, and again cutting so that the rough cut stays relatively similar in size.